Ronald. <rire> I think I'm gonna get drunk on a plane. Can you make me a picture of this? Of this? Mom, say hi. <laughs> video when we landed here which was three nights ago on Thursday and it is currently Sunday at 8.58 p.m. so practically nine. We are six hours ahead so I am super sleepy and adjusting to the time difference has been really weird. It's, it's not too bad. I am currently in Poland. The last time I was here was when I was eight years old so all my memories are really really fuzzy. I don't really remember a lot of it at all. It's crazy because I'm seeing some cousins I haven't seen since I was just such a tiny little kid and there's some cousins that I've met for the first time. I just live in Canada with my mom. My sister and I split a ticket for her to come to Poland for her birthday and then I bought my ticket. It's been a lot of money but we're here for the month. I don't want to say I've had culture shock because I've grown up around Polish culture grown up around Polish culture my entire life but just seeing it essentially kind of for the first time or not really seeing it for the first time but really truly experiencing it for the first time in a way that I'm always gonna remember it's been a lot and you know I want to be really real um, I kind of had high expectations for coming here and I was like I'm gonna start vlogging right away and it's gonna be so fun but the first few days at least have been super draining and exhausting. I don't want to sound like selfish or like a brat when I say that, but just meeting so much family and all the traveling and it's, it's just been go, go, go. It's been like we wake up, we go visit these people and then we go visit these people and then we drive to nearby cities and take pictures of all the castles and stuff, which is amazing and I'm so thankful. But I'm super introverted, so normally even at home, if I have like one family day, I need time to myself to recharge. So it's just been overwhelming to say the least. Just in a sense, kind of meeting all these family members for the first time. Because it's been so, so long since I was here last. 
It's been amazing though. I really think I needed this trip. Every trip I've been on in the past few years has been something nearby or where the customs and everything are very similar to how it is in Canada. That's more so like an actual just vacation where you enjoy yourself. But it's weird because coming here, it's not necessarily like a vacation. It's just you're visiting somewhere else to really visit family and stuff. So it's really just adjusting to everything. My Polish is really awful because like I've mentioned in some of my first videos, my mom's side is only Polish and my dad's side is Romanian and Hungarian. So I never really grew up being fluent in Polish just because we had both sides. I don't want to make it seem like some perfect trip. I wanted to add in this first initial clip because it's been kind of overwhelming being thrown in a completely different place and I don't really speak the language. It's good that I have my mom here with me because she can help translate and stuff, but I don't really want to seem like a burden to her. And it's kind of felt like that because she's here trying to reconnect with family and I'm just, I don't know, there's been a lot of cases where I'm just kind of awkwardly standing off in the corner and I can't really communicate with anyone. It's been frustrating, honestly, but I want to make the best of this trip. Flying to Europe is really expensive. You never know, this could be the last time I see some family members. My grandma's getting older and all of my cousins are here in Poland. I really think a vacation away is good for anyone. Even though it's kind of stressful now, I think that's needed. I always want to take the safe route with trips and go somewhere with the same language and everything, but coming here and really having to push myself out of my comfort zone I think that's really good for personal growth and all that. I think this is something I need. So it's gonna be a long month, but I do think it's gonna be super rewarding. I don't know, I'm excited. And my mom and I kind of have a rocky relationship. We really clash with our personalities. That's been a challenge in itself. Even the first few days, we bicker at each other a lot. And we're literally spending every moment together. Like, whereas at home, I'm going to work, she's going to work. We kind of just passively see each other. But here, we are literally like stuck with each other. Like I only have her. I think this will be good for our relationship, hopefully, but it's been stressful so far. <laughs> We're staying at this place, one of my mom's childhood friends. We're staying upstairs at their place. It's so, so beautiful. The aesthetic and like interior and exterior even to all these homes in Poland is just so bright and colorful and lively. It's really beautiful. It's like not really my style, but it's that nice European touch. Well, all the houses here and buildings are so colorful and so different from North America like the houses are very boxy looking almost it's hard to explain but it's just so beautiful and there's so much history opposed to everything that's so like new and like fast-paced and busy back home in Ontario it's just such a different life here and it's it's really eye-opening to see and it really puts things in perspective I never really go anywhere I don't travel too often I feel like I'm stuck in this little bubble and I don't realize there's a whole different world around me you know so coming here and seeing things in a way that i'm not used to seeing them is just it's a really odd but really cool experience i really wanted to do some kind of sit down portion of this vlog type of video because like i said i had expectations of coming in making this perfect like cinematic montage type of vlog the first few days it was a really big change we had so many traveling issues our first flight was over an hour late so then we missed our second flight and they didn't really do anything to like help us. We were running around airports and then we had to get all our flights changed last minute and we had to end up taking three planes instead of two. It was supposed to be just like a 12 hour trip. It ended up being us traveling for over 24 hours with no sleep, very little food. It was just like a big mess. That first day was probably one of the most stressful days of my life. Just, I've never had a traveling experience that messy. But yeah, I don't know. I really wanted to put this in the vlog because I think it's real and Traveling can honestly be scary and I, I probably sound like a diva because I'm literally here like with my mom She got everything all sorted out. So I don't know I have mad respect for people who solo travel even just like being here Just being somewhere where you can't really make your way around that easily and you can't communicate It's a lot. I'm really excited though. I've been stuck in such a rut for the past few years Everything is very much routine based like I kind of think just like wake up go to work, go to school. I feel like almost there's no substance in my life and that's why I feel like I really needed to get away on this trip with my mom. It just gives you so much new life experience and it really puts things in perspective when you get back home. This is essentially gonna be like an introduction. Um, I'm really excited to be here. It's been really weird. I left my puppy, I left my boyfriend, I left my sister, my job. I always feel like I need to be busy doing something so I think just getting away and taking this time, putting myself first, I think it's really important for me. I feel really odd right now and like I said overwhelmed with the first few days, so much going on and then the time change and all that but 
I also feel very blessed and happy and excited. I'm just, I definitely think I needed this just to go and experience something and experience the world outside of my own little bubble. I feel like I'm just rambling at this point, so I'm just gonna go. But I really, really, really hope that you like this video or a series of multiple videos, whatever it ends up being. I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Literally like Rapunzel's tower. It's cold and rainy. The temperature drops like crazy. I just didn't really prepare for it packing wise. Look! Oh. This castle is the coolest thing ever. <gasps> That's terrifying. Apparently this place is haunted. It's like Game of Thrones. Oh my god. I have to apply for my student loan and the deadline was June 30th. I just didn't even think of school. I just like dropped everything and went to Europe. Under the rocks and plants and